notes you know what I mean this is your contrasting one you're going back and forth and fingertips and finger finger fingers fingertips and where you're now dividing the quarter into four versus dividing the quarter into three, I think you should just think of one plane. You know, instead of any kind of undulating wrist, you really don't need it. You just need your hand and arms to be relaxed and your wrists to be relaxed. But you really want to think of straight lining it now when you go into your sixteens like this. See? You don't see me dipping anywhere, right? Here is where I do my little rotation around the corner, you know, the ends. But... This is what you just want. You're floating your arms. You're, everything's relaxed behind your fingers, right? Because this will make it much more even. Yeah, and then all that undulating stuff. That won't work when you go faster. It works when you go slower, you know, with like tricks and all that stuff. Yeah. So now just do very direct. We're just doing a flat, you know, dynamic. We're not trying to do crescendo or anything. Just this, right? Let's do that. Yeah, that worked a lot better for you. Now, now, now taking that model, what you just did, now when you go into a forearm staccato, you really are thinking, too, of one plane, aren't you? You could be yeah. going up and down, but you're thinking horizontal. You're thinking, right, you don't see me. One plane, one level of, of the of the turf, right? The turf is on one yeah. level. It's not like going under and up, above and lumpy. So let's try the forearm staccato better. Make that thumb swish under like we know how to do with the... Oh, your thumb's getting a little plotty. You know, the thumb has to be the wispy finger no matter what you're doing with it. It's like, see that? See, what I'm, see my thumb? It's not doing anything like that. That will that will just destroy it. See, look. You want the, uh, 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 this? Yeah. Okay, that was better. Yeah, keep your hand really relaxed through this, you know. So that you don't see four kind of not sure that it's part of the family of five fingers hanging with your hand. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes that two in the left hand starts getting a little like. Yeah, it gets tangled. Gets ten tense, yeah. Now, after you do that, let's say you do that two or three times. Then I want you to do a finger stick up. Yeah, do a couple forearm, a couple of fingers. So now focus on the right hand for a moment. Fingers to cut on. Okay. It was good. Now go back to the drawing board and wait, take the direction. Up and down, forearm staccato, turn the corner, up and down, finger staccato. Now one is going to be big, up and down, the other is going to be up and down, soft. You know should be aware of is when you go to those last doctors that are off the radar screen for your eyes go yeah. a little bit lean toward the piano i didn't see, oh, lean see that i didn't see that happening and right. you could feel yeah but but going toward it really brings the compression of the keyboard more in your within your arms reach you know it gives you more control down yeah i believe so oh, you're thinking right you don't see me right but you go toward the piano there right but still 